the fun fair. When I was little, my mommy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Willie came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flashed! Roundabouts went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls. What ride do you want to go on first? Angel wants us to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? Me, shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Whee, woohoo! from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, 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 beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Not at all. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. 
We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide. And jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had a mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. And fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. And said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yeah. I like being at Belle's house. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tink. Not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce. He's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting! Belle's daddy was a big, friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie, ah! he was scared. It's only a toy spider. Got a toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Willie came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. So still, a seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. Ooh, there was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. <laughs> I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. 
The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willie. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willie. Yes, it's Willie. Hey, the the mountain. See see that? A big tall when I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie we'll came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. 
What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please. I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, okay? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there One more step and there's not many more Go for it, Tig! It feels great to finish what you started Yes, I thought I want to finish what I started I want to go to the top The mountain was very steep The mountain was very tall but then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. <laughs> I love